Well, good evening. We are going to tow a Toyota Camry that broke down. And I don't know what's wrong with it because I didn't even think to ask. Because like I said, I'm not very good at this. But uh, supposedly it's only a few miles down the road from my house here. So we're going to go scoop it up and get it to the shop. And look at the sunset tonight. There's the Cascade Mountains over there. Beautiful sunset. And there it is right there. Okay, got a bit of a turnout. We've got a nice good bit of straight stretch for visibility coming to it. So it shouldn't be an issue. Okay, went down the road and flipped around. Coming back to it from this direction. And I always like to pull up behind the vehicle while I check it out, get it ready to tow and take all my pictures and all that. That way my own truck is between me and traffic, not me between the car and my truck to get hit if someone comes up behind us. Okay, as you can see, I got the tow lights on the back, so now that when I go into the front of this car, there's warning lights on the back of this car flashing as well. And then I got my strap set out next to it, and all my pictures taken, so now when I pull in front of the car, it's back up, grab it, throw two straps on real quick, take off, I'll deal with the safety chains when we're in a much bigger turnout than this. All right, let's get out of here. All right. Load it up and off we go. Let's get rolling. Okay, we got it loaded up pretty easy. Uh, it was kind of on the bank on one side, so the crossbar wanted to catch and spin, but it worked out. Uh, spent a little more time on the side of the road than I wanted to, but of course, as soon as I got out to strap it down, cars started coming nonstop. There wasn't a car there the whole time until I went to do that. So I just wait on the other side of the vehicle up on the bank until they pass, then go down and strap down when there's no cars coming. So it, it seemed like it took a while. That's because I was up the bank standing there waiting for traffic to, to clear out. Luckily there's good visibility right there. So now we are on the road headed to Prineville. We got like a 30, 35 minute drive uh, to get to where this thing is going, drop off at the shop. Okay, we're just getting down here into Prineville, so we're gonna watch out for pitchforks in the road because apparently that's a thing here. Go get this thing over to a shop. All right, this is the shop here, and it is one of my favorite shops to drop vehicles off at because it is so easy. They have these nice pull-through spots here right up front where you drop them off, go drop the keys, and they worry about putting them in the back and in a space and all that later. You just pull right in here. 
and call it good. So not only is this place super easy to get into, just wide open pulling spot, but uh, dropping off this thing so easy, just throw the chains away, pop the straps off, lights, and then set it down and drive away, other than the whole taking the pictures part. But where I loaded it, yes, I could have just pulled up, grabbed it, and took off and tied it down to somewhere else, but you always got to take your pictures first unless it's just an incredibly dangerous spot because cars like this, they've got a broken bumper already and scrapes all across the bottom and parts wire tied together and I'm not saying they would blame me for that to try to get a new bumper, but they could. So pictures before I ever touch it all the time unless it's just an absolutely horrible spot and then I do have cameras on the truck to kind of cover my ass in that case, but um this one's here, it's all in one piece, so I'm gonna set it down and leave. Okay, so we set it down, and this camera does not show other cameras very well, but I can watch the arms open up, and I can drive out from underneath it, and on this camera I can watch it come out from underneath, and I can pick it up. and suck it in and we are out of here that's simple I love this place you don't have to back up see you later car okay now that that's done I can go catch up with the family uh, they went to the fairgrounds in Redmond and uh, it's like a holiday lights type of thing um, so I of course am late because I went and did this but now I'm going to run over there, catch up with them, we'll go enjoy the lights, all that stuff, and then I can just tow them home when we're done, so we can all ride home together. So, that's handy. Alright, we're here at the Redmond Fairgrounds for the big light show. Just got done with the family, going and checking it all out. They've got all kinds of light displays. All the big buildings are full of just crazy displays and Santa Claus and, and everything else. So now we've got my wife's Jeep uh, loaded up on the G7 dollies, got tow lights on, and safety chains and such things. and. Uh, now we can all ride home together, which is super handy. Auto loader for the win. Okay, now we get the dollies unloaded. Get this strap set up, it's so easy. You can do it one handed until I drop it down there and hook the dollies. So, so much for showing how easy it is. There, see that part was easy. Okay, now, safety ratchet number one, safety ratchet number two, little top safeties and then just pull. So easy. Oh. Put dollies down. One, two, safety, safety. Easy. I just recorded how to get the rails out of the pockets really good and then uh, realized I wasn't recording so I didn't record it at all. So, so what I do, again, is I put my foot right here Reach down, pull the rail up out of the pocket. Just take my foot and scoot it sideways. Then you're out. Same thing on the other side. Foot next to the tire. Pull up. Scoot sideways. Then you're out. Okay, dollies in the truck. Cross rails in the truck. Straps, everything. Still need to make a mountain here. Haven't done that yet, but close enough. And it's nice being able to shut everything up and 
be able to lock it. Well, that's it. We're all done for the night. Got uh, a car towed, made some money. Got to see a Christmas light display. Got the Jeep towed home. Got this Jeep ready to go. And tomorrow morning, we are taking that Jeep to the snow. So in the morning, I'll hook that trailer back to this truck. And I'm fairly certain I can dolly that thing on tracks. I mean, I know I can. I dollied the snowcat. So next time I'll try that. But this time it's already on the trailer. So we're gonna take that thing to the snow tomorrow which is Thanksgiving Day, and you guys will get to see that because it's gonna be fun. So that's gonna be it for tonight's video. We're gonna wake up in the morning, get going with that one, and we'll see you guys there. Good night.